32 years ago, this American boy lost his footing and fell into a river, but 32 years later, he woke up in a rice paddy in rural China, walking into the village, the unfamiliar language overwhelms him. The boy couldn't understand a word and passed out on the spot. Later, with the help of the embassy, he was sent back to the USA, an agent dropped him off at his doorstep. The man who opened the door looked like the boy's grandpa, but Jack rushed up and shouted daddy. The father looked bewildered. In contrast, the mother recognized Jack immediately even though he is still stuck at the age of eight. But Jack's appearance and every mannerism told her clearly. This is her own son who died 32 years ago. The local sheriff arrived on the news. He was Jack's uncle. Also drowned in the river the day 32 years ago was his wife. As soon as the sheriff arrived he questioned the agent. I want you to explain to me why a federal agency would issue a report for a boy who died 32 years ago. Is this some kind of sick joke? No, stop it. Uncle Fred. The sheriff was stunned. Just then, Jack suddenly collapsed and convulsed. He was immediately taken to hospital. The doctor examined him and found nothing unusual. She was Jack's cousin. Upon learning of the situation, she secretly took blood from Jack and sent it for DNA testing. Although the difference was not apparent on the outside, but Jack who came back from the dead there was something strange about it. Not only did he eat far more than normal, but he barely slept. The agent also thought the whole thing was too strange. He decided to stay in town and find out the truth. News of Jack's resurrection began to spread through the town. Some thought it was a miracle. Others were terrified. Among them was Jack's father. By late afternoon, the DNA test results came back. It matches the father's exactly. The father felt a sense of horror. If this man is Jack, then who was the man he buried 32 years ago? So they decided to open the coffin where Jack was buried.